Hello, my name is Josh with the team of experts at Editor X. Today I'll be showing you how to create different designs in each breakpoint by using the layers don't display or hide option. In Editor X, you can use different elements in each breakpoint so that you can achieve custom designs per breakpoint or device. Let's begin. In the tablet version of the site, I want the image on the right to align with the bottom of this paragraph on the left. What I'll need to do here is hide this entire stack element from this breakpoint. To do that, I can use the layers panel, don't display by clicking on the more actions three dot button or do it directly from the elements floating action bar. After I hide it, from this breakpoint, I will make sure to rename it desktop and mobile stack because I will be using this stack element in those breakpoints. I'm just not using it here on my tablet breakpoint. The image is still not aligning with the bottom of this paragraph. To achieve this, I will click on the relevant grid row and it will automatically select it in the inspector where I can change the size to 123 pixels. Now it's aligned. Great. Next, I will go to the desktop breakpoint and in the same layouter item, I want a top offset. So I will do the same thing I did on the tablet breakpoint, this time using 179 pixels. All right, my desktop and tablet breakpoints are ready and I have optimized their design. So let's go over to mobile breakpoint next. In my mobile design, I want the paragraphs in the first and the third item to be shorter. Like I mentioned before, the paragraph in item two, the one I hit on tablet, will be used here because it's not too long. I can keep this one displayed for desktop and mobile breakpoint then. Let's go to the first item of this layouter where I need a shorter paragraph. If I was to delete any text here, that will affect all breakpoints because this element is the same on all the other breakpoints. I will show you what happens if I do that. As you can see in tablet breakpoint, my image is not aligned with the bottom of the paragraph anymore. And in the desktop version, there's a lot of space down here. To avoid that, I'll show you what I need to do. So I'll go ahead and undo that change. I will need to duplicate this entire stack element. Once I duplicate it, I will rename the original desktop and tablet stack. This way I'm keeping tabs on my elements and working with an organized layers panel. After I rename it, I will hide this stack element in this breakpoint. I will also rename the other stack to mobile stack. After I rename it, then I will make sure to go back and hide this mobile stack element in desktop and tablet breakpoints. The reason I have to do this is because when I duplicated this element, it copied all the properties of the original stack element, which was already being displayed on all breakpoints. In a moment, I will show you how, when you add specific elements to the mobile design, you will not have to do this. Now that I have a duplicated mobile stack, I can go ahead and delete some of this text.
That will not affect the paragraph in the larger breakpoints because this is now a mobile specific element. After I have done that, I will align it by making sure it's in the correct grid cell. Increasing the width of the element to 100%. Docking it at the top at 20 pixels. And centering it horizontally. Next, let's take a look at the third item. Here, I'm actually going to rename this stack. I will rename it desktop and tablet stack. The reason I'm doing this is because I am adding an element directly here to this breakpoint and not duplicating it like I did in the first item. I've pre-saved the shortened version of this stack in my design assets, so I will add it here. Then I will have to align it just like I did in the first item. Because I added this element here, it is automatically hidden from the desktop and tablet breakpoints. Finally, I will add my mobile breakpoint buttons, which I have also saved here in my designs. Again, because I'm adding these elements here in the mobile breakpoint, it will automatically be hidden from the larger breakpoints. Now what I have to do is align these buttons by docking them at the top at 32 pixels and the left at 0%, giving it a bottom margin of 62 pixels. I will have to do the same for the rest to keep my design consistent. My design is ready. So let's take a look at the result in preview. As you can see, I have created different custom designs in each breakpoint by using the layers hide option with breakpoint specific elements in mobile. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.